How's it going, Archie Squad? Lian here, and welcome to another architectural video. Or a not so architectural video. Maybe a slightly architectural video. Yeah, so for today's video, I'm just going to re upload a video I did a while back, but I'm pretty sure none of you guys saw it because it received like a uh, abysmal amount of views. So, the reason why I'm re uploading an old video is because I didn't have enough time to do any video this week because I've been super busy, you know, doing architecture stuff architecturally <laughs> anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'm sure that you guys are gonna learn a few things from past lian coming from the present lian so past lian take it away Comes to mga pirata Leon here and today we are going to learn some Photoshop shortcuts and maybe some tips and tricks on the side. I don't really know, I haven't made a script for this. I'm just gonna wing this whole video. Hopefully it goes smoothly. Usually it doesn't, but I'll just edit those crappy parts out. Alright, so first shortcut I'm going to show you guys is the copy shortcut. So here's how to copy something. So what I used to do before is just select something, right click, and then layer via copy. Okay, so you could you could do that. It's like three steps. Is it three steps? Wait, let, let me just count, guys. One, two, three. Okay, so that was three steps. I'm going to show you something that's a little bit shorter. This is just two steps, so it beats the other it, it beats the other thing I showed you by, by one step. So if you're doing this on a day-to-day -day basis, that one step is going to count, guys. Trust me. Okay, so what you're going to do is... Select the thing you want to copy, alright, then press Ctrl J, and BAM! Two steps, boys! Uh, well, that that, is, that was like two buttons, but you have to press Ctrl and J, and a simultaneous press, so it's, it counts as one step. Okay. Alright, so that is one shortcut, guys. Why did I delete that? Ctrl Z. Okay. So, another technique while we're in this um, van picture is how to apply an effect to a single layer. So what I used to do before is like, let's say I want to brighten up this whole van situation thing. So I'm going to do that, brightness plus 54. And then I am going to click both of the layer and the effect, right click and then merge layer. And voila, the van situation got brightened. There's an easier and more efficient way than that guys. So let's control Z. What you are gonna do is just press Alt and then click in between the layer and the effect and boom! And now you could still adjust the brightness to whatever liking you want or you could just like invisibilize it. By the way, I call this this thing, that what you're doing like here, invisibilizing. Take note guys, it's I N I N vis visibilizing. Okay, anyways, going back, so that's how you do it. Also, you could stack effects on top of layers, let's say I want to make this um, a little bit super contrasty. Alright, click out, click on top of that uh, brightness levels, and voila! You applied that effect onto the layer which the other effect was connected to. Alright, probably said effect like a hundred times now. Photoshop tip number three! How to zoom in and out. So what new people would do is just click this zoom. Would click your magnifying tool and just click, click. And then right click zoom out right click zoom out so that's a really hard way to zoom um, the easiest way is just to press alt and then use your scroll wheel okay and voila you are zooming in and out okay so while you're zoomed in um, you could like scroll up and down and then and then how to scroll horizontally this is another trick maybe this is trick number number four i, I, I lost count guys anyways this is another trick. How to scroll horizontally? Press Ctrl and then use your scroll wheel. Oh, it's magic! It's scrolling horizontally. Okay, enough of that scrolling. You probably, you probably got busy by all those scrollings I did and zoomings. Whoa, more zoomings! Okay, I got got off topic a little bit, guys. Okay, so hmm, let, let me check my notes. What else could I teach you guys right now? Alright, so let's go to an empty page and I am going to teach you some tips and tricks or shortcuts when using the brush tool. So here's an easy way to adjust the brush tool. So what I used to do when I was new in Photoshop, 
I would click up here and then adjust the master diameter or I would right click on the canvas and then adjust the master diameter there so uh, that, that's not really efficient what you have to do is just click this um, what do you call this squareular re rectangular parentheses or this angular I'll just call it the angular parentheses anyways I'll show you the I'll show you the keyboard keys on screen right now okay so I call those angular parentheses so just click those left one to make it smaller the right angular parentheses to make it giantular gi gigantular I'm, I'm already inventing words guys <laughs> so um, excuse me for inventing my own words but hey, I find it easier just to invent words than to like think about the actual word that you're supposed to use anyways that is how to adjust brush size okay so while we're on the brush tool I'm going to teach you another tip Control Z okay how to adjust the opacity so here is how you adjust the opacity just click any number on your keypad so you want to make it 10% click 1 okay 10% opacity you want to make it 60% click 6 so you want a more like you want a more accurate um, opacity just click the first two digits quickly so you want it to be 45% just click 4 and 5 quickly and there you go okay so you want it to be a hundred one percent just click zero and one and voila you have one percent and so goes with hundred percent one zero zero hundred percent darkness oh yeah all right on to tip number whatever tip number we're at okay let's go back to the image that we were using a while ago let's delete the top layer okay so here's a quick tip how to deselect something so when deselecting what i used to do as always is it's in reference to what I used to do when I was new in Photoshop. Okay, so the occurring theme today is uh, these are the things that I used to do when I was new in Photoshop that I wish I knew so that I had a much smoother workflow when doing Photoshops. So I am teaching you guys these tips and tricks right now so that you don't have to go through the hardships that I went through. <laughs> it's not that I really went through some hardships. It's, it's just a bit harder making it sound dramatic, the hardships I went through. Anyway, going back to topic guys, so these tips and tricks are gonna help you make your workflow a little bit faster. Um, so if you're doing this in a day-to-day -day basis, um, this is really gonna help you guys. So how to deselect things, this, this may not seem important, but um, for the things I used to do, this is really important. So will, before I tried pressing escape, not working, press enter, doesn't wanna deselect. What I used to do is, uh oh, right click and then deselect. There's a faster way guys, just press Ctrl and D, Ctrl plus D, and voila, deselected. So, oh no, I accidentally deselected it, like, you accidentally deselected your thing. So in order to reselect the thing that you just deselected, um, press Ctrl, Shift, and D, and voila, you selected it again. Alright guys, so that was my video on the Photoshop tips and tricks and some Photoshop shortcuts. I hope you guys learned something new or at least uh, inspired you to use Photoshop because it's a little bit easier now. Anyways, if you follow my Photoshop journey, my Photoshop burn, Photoshop, Photoshop journey, Photoshop journey, there's, there's no cool way to say Photoshop and journey all together in one word. So if you follow me in this Photoshop journey, I'm going to be posting Photoshop tutorials in my channel every week. So subscribe to get um, new Photoshop tips and tricks and how to make images like this. Boom! Whoa! This probably looks stupid if I didn't put any image on it in post editing. Good thing I edit my videos. Or this image. Or both of these images. Okay. Compose yourself again. Okay, or both of these images. Amazing! How did I do that? So you guys are going to learn how to make these kinds of images if you follow me on my Photoshop journey. That is all guys. So I'll see you guys next week on my next Photoshop tutorial video or maybe a Lightroom video. Uh, we'll see what I will do next week. Anyways, I will see you guys on my next video. Flying peace! <laughs>And that is the whole video guys, so I hope you guys learned something new from that old video of mine. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, Arky Squad represent Flying Peach! <laughs>